access to information to grow. It's part of who we are. Education is a basic necessity for people to be able to make choices about their lives. The power to make choices is freedom, and freedom is development. As more people are able to access the infinite knowledge the internet holds, they will have access to success. Information and communications technologies have the power to change the way we practice development throughout the world. The digital divide, divined by a lack of access to information for a specific population, symbolizes the largest difference between developed and developing countries, the opportunity to obtain and utilize information. In the foreign countries, the economy is very high. Here, for now, I can say even my neighbors live for about $2 a day. So the only money they get can only satisfy their stomachs. Apana tuna ata radio. Kuna jama de hakuna vile anaweza buy vitu kama TV na nyie peke yake. Na tena kwetu tuko wengi. I don't have internet at home. It's too expensive. The digital divide runs much deeper than hardware and software. While equipment is necessary, it's not sufficient. The real heart of the digital divide is that those without access to information resources often suffer needlessly while the solutions to their problems are floating in the air. The internet is the single most powerful tool for rapid development. One example is the child who is ill with malaria who can easily be diagnosed by using any of the 12,800,000 websites that detail the disease and its symptoms. But without access to the internet, the children suffer and many perish. In developed countries, people often take for granted that the largest library in the world is soaring through the skies, only waiting for a click to be released. For many rural people, 10 minutes on the web with the understanding of its capabilities can change their lives forever. In rural areas, the need for information cannot be overestimated. In the remote countryside, there are few schools with adequate resources, and there are almost no community libraries. The life-saving knowledge that the people require has been completely beyond their grasp. With the internet, their prayers have been answered and solutions to their problems can be found within seconds. As one rural woman in the western province of Kenya explained, it's like being brought from the darkness into the light. Intersat Africa and Voices of Africa for Sustainable Development are committed to bringing innovative ICT for development projects throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and to creating an international knowledge sharing network for sustainable development. Okay, with me, I just think that it's the cheapest way of communicating. It makes the world a very small village. Along with other strategic partners, we will empower development innovators to create tangible, on-the-ground evidence of the political, social, and economic change possible through access to internet. It has turned my life because when I come to the kiosk, mostly I look, I browse the internet and I look for the taekwondo because that's the game I love. The, the techniques that I, I see there, I try and practice them. Especially as now I've come to do some research there, so it's helpful. One can learn through a computer. It has like uh, made a revolution in my life. Communication, um, uh, work, it simplifies everything. What I could have done in two days, I can do it in two hours. It was difficult to communicate before the internet service, but for now it is very easy. We can eradicate poverty in our lifetimes and level the playing fields for future generations. We cannot leave our villages and slums behind. The Rural Internet Kiosk is an independent, self-contained, solar-powered kiosk featuring three industrial design computer terminals, a manned administrator terminal, and broadband wireless internet connectivity. 
The Rudo Internet kiosk is very good because uh, whether there is power or no power, we'll still use it. Rick has been designed to help bridge the digital divide and concentrates on connecting rural areas and informal settlements where there is high percentage of the population who have no access to information and communications infrastructure. Access to knowledge is a basic human right, and no one should be excluded. I use the internet. I talk to people from out countries. Though I don't see them, we do communicate and know each other. I have searched about the differences between forest in Kenya and forest in Canada. Yes, I use the internet to search for certain information that I want to communicate to people. There's also the uh, aspect of communication, entertainment, um, interaction, forums, and to pursue and further my education. I'm uh, sure I can like to make more friends outside the Kenya. When I'm doing email, I communicate with people inside Kenya and outside Kenya. And that makes communication much easier and cheaper. Uh, before the internet, communication was really slow because I couldn't afford to call and talk to people as often as I do now. And stuff with that mindset, Rick is equipped with educational software from basic to advanced level, as well as the most common productivity software with the aim of creating a computer literate society. Rick does not discriminate towards users and is designed with accessibility terminals for people with physical and visual challenges. Information poverty is a widespread social problem throughout developing countries. Outside the country and even within the country, yeah, I'm able to access whatever message I need from each and every person. Yeah, especially when chatting, I get immediate results there without waiting. I have a friend from Sydney, uh, Macquarie University. He's a mentor to me and he does a lot of things for me. And when I'm in stuck in my field, I actually talk to him. So for me, it's like a way of finding somewhere. Like when I'm stuck, the way to move on, I have to get a hold of him. It's not very easy, but using the net is easy. The Rural Internet Kiosk can provide the following development solutions. E-commerce, e-health, e-government, e-banking, e-learning, relief services, local content creation, skills training, employment opportunities, independent local media, and knowledge diffusion from the north to the south and from the south to the north. Currently, more than 92% of all Sub-Saharan Africa is without electricity. 98% of the population has no access to the internet. Where I live, I don't access the internet, as in I don't have a modem or even a telephone line. But with here they are using solar and even they are there are materials which are connected there, of which I don't know. <laughs> the youth are real illiterate in my home area, so they are not concerned about the, anything to do with the computers or the internet. I have ever used internet, and I, I don't have emails. I use it four, four times a week because I come to school four times a week. I, there's no day I've not used it while I'm, when, while I'm here. Internet actually it is not everywhere, it is just in cyber cafes where you have, must have money so that you can activate the internet.